One way that landowners can earn income from their property is by leasing their land for wind turbines. There are many different ways to get paid when you lease your land for wind turbines, and lease rates vary across the country. Wind leases start with what is called the option period, which is the two to five year term before the turbines are actually placed on the land, during which the wind developer conducts due diligence and gets the proper permits to ensure that they can begin construction. During the option period, the landowner is paid a small amount, typically $10 to $100 per acre per year, to not explore other lease options with different wind developers. Option period lease payments generally increase from 1 to 3% each year or in alignment with the current inflation rate at the time. This percentage is negotiable with the wind energy developer. It's important to remember that being under option with a wind developer doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get a wind farm on your property. Wind developers use a wind lease option to ensure that they will have the exclusive right to enter into a formal wind farm lease agreement before they invest the time and money into their evaluation. Generally, after the option period, the lease enters the development phase where the turbines and supporting infrastructure are placed on the land. Landowners are paid for wind leases on a per acre basis or a per turbine basis with royalties. It is most common to be paid per turbine per year with royalties. A royalty is an additional payment, typically a percentage, based on the revenue and megawatts of energy generated from the turbines. Some wind leases are paid a set amount each year without royalties, meaning that the landowner's lease payments won't benefit from an increase in electricity prices. The royalty percentage is also negotiable, but generally ranges from 4 to 10 percent. Wind leases that pay royalties typically have a guaranteed annual payment regardless of the performance of the turbines, which is also referred to as the minimum payment. The size of the wind turbine generally determines the payment amounts. $5,000 to $8,000 per megawatt is typical, so on average, a smaller single wind turbine could be valued at around $8,000 to $15,000 per year, with a larger turbine potentially bringing in between $50,000 and $80,000 per year. Most wind leases have what's referred to as an escalator, which is a percentage increase in the fixed payment each year, usually ranging from 1 to 3 percent. The escalator is there to help mitigate the effects of inflation, which generally result in the value of the lease payments decreasing over time. Most of the time, the current inflation rate outpaces the escalator, which means that the value of the wind lease payments is decreasing over time. The good news is that this decrease in value can be mitigated by selling the wind lease payments up front for a lump sum. Selling the wind lease payments up front for a lump sum also helps with mitigating the unreliability of wind lease payments. The wind developer can stop operating the wind farm at any time, meaning that your lease payments could also stop at any time. When you sell your lease payments up front for a lump sum, the purchaser of those lease payments assumes that risk. You can discover your land's estimated value for a wind lease by getting a free property report on Landgate's map. This property report will provide you with a wind lease value index score and an estimated wind lease payment amount. There are many different factors that wind developers look for as they search for suitable properties to construct wind farms on. These factors can affect the value of your property for a potential wind lease. These factors include acreage, proximity to electrical infrastructure, and local renewable energy incentives. Generally, properties with at least 60 buildable acres are usable for wind turbines, even though only a portion of the property will have the wind turbine infrastructure actually placed on it. Proximity to electrical infrastructure is another important consideration. The closer the transmission lines and substations to your property, the better. Less than 4 miles from a substation and near transmission lines is ideal. Local renewable energy incentives also play a role in your property's suitability for a wind farm. These incentives are paid to the wind developer for the amount of clean energy that is produced. Areas with high incentives are more attractive to wind developers. Buildable acreage, proximity to electrical infrastructure, and local incentives are all provided in Landgate's free property report. It's important to remember that all wind lease agreements are completely negotiable. The amount of land leased, lease payments, escalator percentages, lease length, and more are all open for discussion. Due to the long-term nature of wind leases, it is extremely important that landowners conduct their own due diligence and consult with a licensed attorney if they have received a wind lease offer. If you're interested in making money from your land through wind leasing, the best way to get the most value and the highest payments is to present your property to a competitive network of wind energy developers. The more eyes you can get on your property, the more negotiating power you'll have.
You can list your land for lease for a wind farm on Landgate's competitive marketplace for free to get the attention of multiple wind developers that actively use the platform to find and analyze suitable properties. Once you've received your free property report, you can list your property for lease on Landgate's marketplace with no fees, no commissions, and no obligations to accept any offers. Get started today at Landgate.com.